In a lot of my videos, I think by now you guys have noticed that there's usually a lot of background noise going on, in particular the fans on uh, my gaming rig here that I've uh, shown, shown before in other videos. But, you know, if you haven't seen it, there's two GTX 580 classified ultras, and I've got those in SLI. So that's what I use for gaming. Now, when I'm not gaming, a lot of time I'll leave this uh, on and I'll have it fold at home. And which is what I do. I'll run two GPU clients here, both of them folding away. And. 1% is, let me see, is that, yeah, 1% is getting done about every 2 minutes and 10 seconds or so, 2 minutes and 14 seconds uh, on that, yeah, that'd be a pretty good estimate depending on if I have anything else going on in the background. Uh, it's pretty difficult to do any kind of work on it when the bulk GPUs are spun up like this. Obviously, anything graphical takes, you know, there's a, there's a long delay uh, before it shows up. And then I've got my uh, cyber power, <coughs> excuse me, my cyber power panel up. And so the system currently pulls 780 watts while it's folding. I have folded with the CPU as well, too, but uh, currently I, I quit doing that because. I noticed the uh, the power was going closer to a thousand watts, but I wasn't getting that many more, um, that much more folding. I wasn't I wasn't getting that mu that many more points per day. The the GTX 580 classifieds uh, with their 512 cores and they're running at 900 megahertz factories. I've run them at a thousand before. Um, didn't make a huge difference. I've dropped them down to 500, um, and I did definitely notice the temperatures go down, but so does the uh, the workload. So if I just keep them at their factory uh, um, clocks, they do quite well in folding. And then I, I monitor their temperatures here, so I've got 69 degrees on the top one, 64 degrees on the second one. I've seen it as high as 75. I uh, don't like it to get that high for obvious reasons. I like to keep them in the uh, below 70 degree range. That's why I have all the case fans burn up the max and uh, to keep uh, to keep the inside of the uh, you're just rather not the inside to keep the cards cool. So that's some of the noise that everybody may or may not have noticed in my videos, and it's just me folding away. And uh, if you guys haven't figured out yet, I'm a pretty uh, pretty good pretty large EVGA fan. Uh, there's the logo on my desktop and then obviously the EVGA cards, EVGA motherboard. So I fold for Team EVGA plus they, there's some bonus money uh, they give you per month. Uh, I think $10 per month if you fold so many, uh, I think 350,000 points a month which this machine well exceeds. So sometimes I quit folding halfway in the month. It, ju it just depends. Uh, this this month I'm actually folding late. I've, you know, today's the 15th, uh, uh, and I usually hit my maximum at around the between the seventh and the tenth is one is I'll hit my maximum. So anyway, when I'm not gaming, I like to uh, contribute to folding at home. Unfortunately, it does run the power bill up, but I think it's for a good cause. And as long as I'm not breaking, you know, holding the 75 degrees, and I'll keep it under 70, I don't think it's really doing any damage to my system or my cards. The power supplies I have in there are way overkill for those cards, so I'm not even running the power supplies at 50%. And then, so anyway, that's kind of in a nutshell what my gaming system does when it's not gaming. Thank you for watching.